Calgary police are speaking out two days after a woman was killed by her estranged husband, saying both it and the province need to look harder at intimate partner violence. Aaron Collins starts his story at the scene, a bloody and disturbing example of an all-too-common crime. These images difficult to see. The scene of a deadly attack on a woman by her estranged husband. Harder still for other victims of domestic violence. Sometimes I think that, that could have been me. Her abusive partner was also charged. Both men had no contact orders placed on them and both were released almost immediately. It's frustrating because even when I heard about this story in my head, I thought to myself, I bet you there was a no contact order. Or was, there, was he out on, on conditions for something else? And sure enough, in this situation, they are. Investigators confirmed the man who killed his wife this week was out on bail. Warrants for his arrest were issued the morning of the attack. He was found dead just blocks from the scene. The Calgary police have now asked the provincial body that reviews family violence deaths to look into the killing. I think we owe a further duty to try to dig deeper, notwithstanding the obvious, to try to figure out the why. <sighs> Those that help victims navigate the justice system agree. I think a critical look when tragedies like this happen are necessary. And I think it's how we can move forward together. We have two, three, and four bedroom units. Shelters for victims of domestic abuse reveal a growing problem. Calls for help on the rise. Use of shelters in the province up nearly 20 percent. No one living here now, but is it available? It's not available. This is spoken for and we should have a family moving in any day. A problem not limited to Alberta. A woman dies by their intimate partner every six days in Canada. So the issue is dire. Ottawa is trying to address the problem. A new federal law requires judges to consider domestic violence in cases before them. An attempt to criminalize coercive behavior by partners is being debated. It is a systemic problem. It's been recognized as an epidemic and we can't just keep calling these cases tragedies and then fail to, to be dealing with um, the underlying problems. But progress is slow and answers aren't likely before another Canadian dies at the hands of their partner. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.